Hello, it's Susan here from Kamori no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be talking about flat lining. Typically, when we think of lining, we think of a piece that is sewn together and then sewn into the garment. However, with flat lining, the lining is sewn to the fashion fabric before the garment is constructed. There are multiple reasons to use flat lining, such as to add strength and thickness to a thinner fabric, as a way to anchor delicate fabrics with holes, such as lace, and if you need something to attach snaps or hooks to without having the stitching shown on the outside. The name of the game with flat lining is smoothness, so you want to iron your fabric to the best of your ability before cutting out your pieces. Since we're sewing the two pieces together and treating them as one, you want the two pieces to be the same size and shape, otherwise you'll end up with wrinkles or puckers. When sewing the pieces together, we sew them together around all of the edges. However, again for smoothness, I do find it easier to start at the top and you work your way down, then go to the opposite side, start at the top, and work your way down. That's because if you're sewing one side down and then the other side up, it can cause the fabric to wrinkle. Then you can sew along the bottom and along the top, though in some cases this may not be necessary. The method I've seen most frequently used is using a running stitch to attach the two pieces together. However, I have heard of using a serger, or if you don't have a serger, using a zigzag stitch to sew the two pieces together, since this will help finish the edges before constructing the garment. Once your pieces have been flatlined, you can then go on to create your garment, just like you would otherwise. 